pour it into your Don't that look good? Hey y'all, it's Tammy and today we're making the famous real easy cup a cup a cup peach cobbler the only difference that we do chris thinks it's too much crust because it dries out the peaches a little bit too much so we use three quarters of a cup three quarters of a cup you're going to see what i mean by this first you're going to melt three quarters of a stick of butter in your dish now you can use the whole stick if you want to all right now you're going to use three quarters of a cup of flour and three quarters of a cup of sugar and the reason he I, I think I already told y'all he just doesn't like for it to be so doughy that it's too doughy and this recipe is easy because everything equals everything if you're using two cans of peaches, you want to go three quarter, three quarter, three quarter, three quarter. If you're using three cans of peaches, you can go a cup, a cup, and a whole stick of butter. How's that? Uh, so we're putting our three quarters cup of flour in this bowl with three quarters cup of sugar. And now we are going to add three quarters of a cup of regular milk. And you just mix this up. And it always looks really runny, okay? Make sure you're using self-rising flour. I'm going to put just a hint of vanilla in here. And that doesn't look like it would make a cobbler, but it does. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your mixture and you're going to pour it into your dish okay after you pour your batter down in there then you're going to pour two cans of peaches in here i'm going to sprinkle cinnamon on ours you don't have to but we like it and I'm going to sprinkle nutmeg on it because we like that as well. And of course, um, Mama never did either one of those. And I also like to put a few pecans on the top. And they'll get a little toasty when it comes out of the oven. This is something you can throw together while you're cooking supper and have something really good um, for the family in just a few minutes. I like to take a spoon or something and just kind of run through the middle of it a little bit before I put it in the oven. You're going to place this in the oven and you're going to bake it at 350 degrees until that crust is nice and bubbly. Give it at least 35 to 40 minutes. If you want to, you can pull it out and sprinkle some sugar on the top to make your crust uh, kind of crunchy on the top if you want to. But you don't have to because it's got plenty of sugar in it. So we're going to get this in the oven. We'll see you in a few minutes with our delicious piece of cobbler. Let's get out this cobbler, y'all. It's been in here for a while. I had something else in the oven, so I had to cook it at 350, but now you can turn yours up. But the good thing about cooking it at 350 for about an hour is it gets nice and gooey ooey. And it, and it gives the breading a long time to cook. nice and bubbly and brown on the top and so I'm going to cut into this and show you how pretty it looks this is a simple cobbler it's always delicious you can make it with any fruit and um, we just really like it better with three quarter three quarter three quarter three quarter 
So I hope y'all enjoyed watching this video. Yummy. Don't that look good? It don't just look good. It is good. And you can't go wrong with this recipe. You don't even have to write it down. You just remember it. Cup, a cup, a cup. A cup and a stick. Or three quarter, three quarter, and three quarters of a stick. I choose the three quarter. Yummy. I'm definitely going to have some of this with coffee. ASAP. I'll get a little bite for y'all. But you can tell it's nice and got a nice uh, uh, thick it's nice and thick and creamy uh, got good breading you got the soft breading underneath and the crunchy breading on the top good and sweet too it's delicious y'all So if you're making this while you're making supper, go ahead and turn the oven up to 375 to 400 degrees so that you can get it out in time and you can um, have it ready when you get finished eating to have dessert. Thanks for watching Colored Valley Cooks where we cook like Mama did.